Hello everyone, welcome along to the race brief here and we are going to talk to our drivers once again from the DTM series who are out at the Nürburgring for yet another race weekend out there. Uh, Jonathan Aberdeen chilling out in the truck and Marco Wittmann doing all the work out on circuit having a nice uh, jolly stroll. Uh, good evening gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. Good evening Ben, good to be Hi. here. Marco, you're out on track. You said you were quite busy uh, looking at stuff. You drove the Nürburgring last weekend. What is there to look at this weekend? Well, actually, there's a bit of a difference because um, last weekend we have been on the long version, so on the GP layout. This uh, weekend we are going to do the short version, which we are actually used from the last or past years. So that means we do after, after turn four, we do a kind of shortcut into turn five. Um, and yeah, I mean, the weather is great, so actually my engineers and myself we decided come on let's have a walk so we have <laughs> have a bit of a chat and and yeah actually yeah as i said it's more or less the same trick apart from turn five which is different to last weekend um but yeah as i said uh, at least a good and nice walk and as you can see the weather looks good you know here sunshine uh, in the eiffel which is pretty nice nuts for a second weekend on the trot absolutely crazy jonathan it looks cold in the truck though you got your jacket on yeah, I mean the sun's shining, but uh, it's it's still a bit chilly. Uh, I think today was <laughs> was forecast as the coldest day, but uh, back to full sunshine and warm weather tomorrow, which is which is nice. I think it's now two weeks in a row of sunshine here in the Eiffel, so yeah, uh, I think we've got to be happy about that. Yeah, absolutely. Now the um, the track layout that Marco uh, described takes away some of the faster corners of the GP long circuit that we raced last weekend. That's a good thing for BMW, right? Jonathan? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, definitely a good thing for BMW. Um, sector 2, we were we were lacking some performance last weekend, so it's good to, to kind of take those corners out and, and replace them with this turn 5. Uh, yeah. Sector 1 and 3, we were quite competitive. So, yeah, I think the, the deficit will, will be massively smaller than last weekend, so uh, very optimistic uh, heading into the weekend. Uh, and Marco, effectively, the early running of last weekend, you were the fastest BMW, but when it came to the races, you just didn't quite stitch it up as much, especially on the Sunday, as you'd like. Well, I would love to do that, but um, as you know, I mean, for us, the season is a bit tricky, a bit difficult, really, to match the Audis, and um, in FP, we were pretty, pretty reasonable, but then, obviously, in quality, the gap was, again, a bit bigger. Um, the races went pretty well, I would say. I mean, on Saturday we have been on P3, um, yeah. so onto the podium. Sunday was a bit more difficult with a quite bad start. We we suffered the whole weekend with with a clutch issue, which is actually now replaced for the second weekend. So I'm confident the starts will be fine this weekend. And uh, yeah, as well we had a bit of a not the best pit stop, let's call it like that. But yeah, our aim is yeah to go for a quite good result this weekend. This shortened circuit kind of, it very much is a touring car track, but touring car in the sense of crashing into each other and leaning on each other and the old stool way of doing touring cars rather than the DTM way, whereas if you do that, you lose a lot of downforce. It's very, very sinuous and very tricky to overtake, right? Well, I mean, you have some places where you can overtake, like end of off straight into turn one. Um, there is sometimes a possibility um, sometimes I would say into turn five now for the shortcut, but this is definitely a bit of a tricky, tricky possibility. Let's call it like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, especially, you know, especially at the start, there's always a bit of a mess in DTM and, or yeah, after, after pit stop, when you go out on cold tires, it gets quite interesting. You know, if someone comes onto hot tires, then you always see some overtakings. Yeah, the, the deficit, Jonathan, between a, a warm tyre that's got up to temperature and, and the tyre coming straight out of uh, the, the pit stop is huge, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's massive. I think this is uh, this is always one of the, the best way to, to overtake in the DTM is when you have this uh, either massive tyre delta in terms of laps with tyre degradation or, you know, as you mentioned, the, the pit stop, trying to undercut the guys or, or, or over to cut, over cut the guys. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, this is one of the best, uh, best way to overtake in, in DTM. And uh, this, this track always makes it a bit interesting with this turn one, two, three, four sequences. Uh, 
always a bit of a mess. But uh, yeah, as I said, a, a good opportunity. Now, racing here uh, at the Nürburgring last weekend, back here again. Um, Jonathan, what did you do in between the days? Totally, totally switch off or, or dream about how to get the car faster? <laughs> no, no. I mean, for me, I, I went back to Munich, uh, spent a few days there. But, you know, at the end of the day, uh, this is, uh, we, we, we define a, a set game plan um, already on the Sunday evening in the, in the areas that we need to work and uh, the engineers get directly to work to improve the car. So, you know, I think for, for us drivers, the best thing to do with, with, with these back-to-back -back weekends is somehow try to switch off on the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and come back fully prepared on, on the Thursday. Marco, is the, is the fatigue starting to hit, having all of these back-to-back -back races so close in succession? Well, I, I have to say it's, it's somehow pretty cool, you know, you, there's not much time off. You're actually each race we or actually each weekend you are racing so that is pretty good fun um as jonathan said you you have like the monday tuesday to to recharge the batteries and especially for me you know with the wheel and with the 24-hour nurburgring which is actually um being held next weekend already so it becomes even more busy uh, yeah. but at the end i have to say it's pretty cool and uh do you feel like that would kind of finish you off doing the Nervo 24 hours having done what was it three weekends on the bounce we've done haven't we um well yeah i, I have been like before Aston. i have been to the Nürburgring for the wheel end of course, and there was yeah. Aston Nürburgring, Nürburgring, so the triple header and now next weekend there is a 24 hour so for me it's not actually a triple header it's actually uh, <laughs> yeah. i think seven or eight weekends in a row um but it's cool you know i like it, it it's my passion you know and uh, as soon as we as we are on the racetrack, it always feels like being home, having fun. So pretty cool, I have to say. It's true, Jonathan, that, you know, you guys grew up in a karting environment, in a, in a just generally in a, in a racetrack environment. And therefore, the normal for you guys is to be at a racetrack and, and doing what you do best. Yeah, 100%. I think uh, all of us spent uh, every single weekend of our childhood kind of uh, at the kart circuit trying to get better and improve so for me personally if I could choose I, I would really drive every weekend of the year it's really something that I enjoy and I love to do so for me it's no problem to 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 have triple headers and back-to-backs like this awesome guys well we do have free practice sessions tomorrow on Friday uh, and then we'll be on Instagram with one of our BMW drivers on Friday night and then we have our qualifying brief and post race interview sessions on saturday and sunday for the dtm races at the nurburgring sprint circuit finally after so many weekends there'll be a weekend off for the dtm drivers but for so many of them the nurburgring 24 hours and we'll be covering that on our bmw motorsport channels as well so plenty for you bmw fans to enjoy and hopefully our drivers out there at the nurburgring will also enjoy some good success so good luck to both jonathan and marco for this weekend Thanks, Ben. Thanks, ben.